Now, it really does seem like all big vendors are trying to aggregate their streaming services into either a single application or a single service. Like for example, what you see on the TiVo Stream 4K or like you see on the Chromecast with Google TV. Well, this application I'm gonna share with you today is absolutely free. It works great on your Fire Stick, on your Nvidia Shield, and it really will help you find the best content out there that you can access through this single application, which again, doesn't need any registration. I'm not using any VPN, doesn't need the mouse toggle, doesn't have any adverts. And with this latest update, you really can access some amazing content. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the new 4K Fire Stick Max but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device or any other Android TV device. And the great thing is because this application is official and available directly on the App Store, you don't need to sideload it. You can just go to home, click on search. Let's type in the word just, there we are. Scroll down and you're looking for just watch. Let's click on that, click on that again. And just to confirm guys, if you scroll down here, you can see at the bottom, this application was updated on the 8th of February. So it really is hot off the press. And that's one of the key things about this Tech Doctor UK Extra channel, where I will be covering updates to older videos, older applications, and also my live streams. So please do take a second and just double check that you are subscribed with all notifications on this channel, just to ensure that you don't miss a video. Okay, let's go to the top and click on download and we can see all of the navigation I'm doing with the standard remote control. So you don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle. Okay, let's open that up. So when you open up the application, this is what you will see. So the first thing that the application asks you is which streaming services are you already subscribed to? Now, these could be free services or paid services. And the options that you see here will depend on your geographic location. So as I'm in the UK, we can see I only see about uh, 10 different options. But if you do this from USA or if you use a VPN and set your location as USA, you'll see about 100 different streaming services in here, including free things like Tubi TV and Crackle. But in my example, I'm just gonna go for uh, Netflix. Let's go for Prime Video. Um, let's just do ITV player. And let's click on get started. Let's get started. And here we are on the home screen of this application. Now, before I take you around the application, let's just press left and go over to settings. So for example, we can see the services that I've currently selected and you can also make a change to your selection here. But at the top, you have the option for account. Now, if you want to, you can actually log into this application and this way you can then get recommendations. You can create watch lists or playlists and allow you to synchronize your content. So, so if you want to keep a track of what you're watching, make sure your playlists and your favorites are synchronized. This is where you'd log in. And they also have companion applications for your iOS devices and also Android. But in this example, I'm gonna stay logged out. Let's press the back button. So here we see the content from all of those different services in their own categories. So here we can see the movies, here you have the mysteries and thrillers, uh, different categories here. So uh, you've got some classic crime, comedy shows, uh, Emmy award winners, classic movies, uh, something different, highly rated. Now let's say for example, we want to watch one of these. So let's just go with this one over here. Let's click on that. So when you click on any content, any movie or TV show, you get to see some summary about the content. You get to see the IMDB rating, if there's any age restrictions and scrolling down. And we can see this is currently available on Amazon Prime and you even get to see a synopsis of the different episodes. And if I now click on that, with one click that should now automatically load Amazon Prime for me and take me directly to that contents. So this is the hot linking that just wasn't working properly or reliably using the real good application, but all of the testing I've done with this application through Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or some of the other streaming services, it really does seem to be a lot more reliable compared to real good. And if I click on that now, that's obviously just going to work straight away. And that's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, the other great thing is if I press the back button from here, it doesn't stay in Amazon Prime. It takes me back to Just Watch. So really easy way for you to find your favorite content, check it out. And if you don't like it, you can go back to Just Watch and then try and find something else. 
Can us back out of that. Here we have the new section. So this is some of the new content that's been added to the different streaming services that you'll subscribe to. I mean, here, for example, is just stuff that was added today. Uh, lots of different things in here. Let's try this one over here. So here, for example, we can see this is available on Netflix. If I now click on that, that, that should now automatically launch Netflix for me and hopefully take me directly into that content, which I can then enjoy with one click. And it's done exactly that, guys. So really, really easy for you to find your content. And with one click, you can then start enjoying that straight away. And again, if I press the back button. And the other thing we can see here, guys, is it actually gives you a prompt. So this particular show is available both in Netflix and also Prime Video. Now, of course, if you subscribe to more streaming services, and especially if you are in the United States, you may get even more options to watch your content. So let's just for a test try Prime Video and just see if that works as well. And that takes you straight there. Let's back out of that. And here we have the popular section. So you can, if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag watch, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. You can break this down into movies, TV shows, or just all content. Uh, let's just go to all content. And you can see guys, they've got all of your favorite movies and TV shows all categorized that you can access with one click and that should then launch that content directly uh, for you. Uh, let's just try one last thing and then I'll show you how the search feature works. Let's try this one over here. One click, uh, let's go for uh, this one. Give that a second and we are directly into that content. I can now press the play button and enjoy this movie. Now for the watch list, you have to be logged in. So I'm gonna ignore that section. Let's now actually look at the search because really that's what you want to do. You want to search for your content and then find which streaming service is offering that content. So I can now click on that. Let's say for example, I'm searching for uh, Mr. Robot. Let's just type in Mr. There it is, I can now press down. Go to the left. That's there, so I can now click on that. Scroll down and here I can just confirm that that is available on Prime Video. And that takes me straight to that content. Let's back out of that. So wrapping this up, guys, just watch a great application, a single application that will allow you to aggregate content from all of your streaming services, whether that's paid services or free services. Uh, obviously, the guys in the United States will get a lot more options than what we get in the UK. But as you can see, guys, I'm using this without a VPN and it's working absolutely fine for me. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think that Just Watch is a great application as it really does help you find the content you're looking for without trying five different applications. I really am trying my best to get this channel to 10,000 subscribers. So if you can help out, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.